everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing this really cool winter themed starter house. It is really awesome. It's super fun and it also has a little attached greenhouse on the side if you want to put some bees. Perfect for Minecraft 115. But let's flip around and let's take a look. And check it out. This was so much fun to make and I can't wait to share this with you guys. A little block for block tutorial. We're going to start it up right now. We also got interior for inspiration and I really love the way this little winter cabin came together. Especially the little greenhouse attachment. That was so much fun. But let's start uh, building this right now. And here we go with the block palette. So starting from left to right, we're using some stripped dark oak logs, some dark oak stairs, slabs, trap doors. Then we're using some spruce, some stripped spruce log, all the spruce family, some snow for the roof, some white glass for the greenhouse and the regular glass, and then a couple little things along the way for that cool fireplace in the center. All right, and here we go with the dimensions. So the main structure of the house, not including this little greenhouse, is literally from this block to this block over here, which is a nine. And then from this block to the end block over here is a 15. So it's a 50 by 9 for the main structure. Right here we just have our little overhanging bit for our porch right here on the side. And then our greenhouse extension is really simple. It is just a 9 by 7 box right there. But we're going to start this right now. We're going to go ahead and do this with our stripped dark oak logs. And we'll start counting blocks along the way. So let's actually start right here on this. Actually, start right here in the back corner. Let's <laughs> make it a little easier. So starting right here, this log is going to go up by 8. So right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, let's give it a space of 1, 2, 3. Right here in this corner, this one's going to go up by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 right there. Then this one right here is going to go a space of 1, 2, 3. And then this one's also going to go up by 8. So all the corner ones are going to take it up by 8 just like that. The middle gap ones are only, only going to be 6. So right here we're going to go 1, 2, 3, up by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Give it a gap of uh, space of 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we're going to go up here again by 6. Then a little 3 spacer. And then this one is the corner bit. So this one's going to go up by 8 like we have over there. Then this one here again, 1, 2, 3, up by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then again, 1, 2, 3. This is the corner bit. So what? Up by 8, right? <laughs> then we're going to go all the way up right there. Perfect. Now, these two bits right here is going to be mirroring what we did on the other side. Also, again, up by 6. So 1, 2, 3, up by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up by 6. So it's just a complete mirror job all the way around. And it's going to look like so. So let's work on the main structure of this house and then we'll do the greenhouse separate in case you guys want to build just this house and not the attachment of the greenhouse. I'll show you how to do that. Now, right here, we're going to go right in front of this beam, give it a space of one and two. And right here on the third one, we're going to go up by one and two, just like that. Now, here we're going to give it a space of one, two, three, up by two again, space of one, two, three, four, five, up by two and one, two, three, up by two, pretty much mirroring uh, this side to that side. Now, next up, let's work on some details. So the first thing we want to do is we want to give it a little bit of a foundation. So right here, what I'm going to do is get some stairs down. So one, two, three, four, five right here. Here, I'm going to put an upside down stair on each side and a slab in the middle, just like so. Here, we're going to go with uh, just some upside down stairs. So one and two, just like so. And now here, repeat it. So upside down, upside down, and a slab in the middle. And then two upside downs right here. Now, once we have this, Everything else is going to be a slab. So we're going to go all the way around like this and cover this whole bottom area here with slabs even here. And we're really not going to see this part from the other side. Because we're going to put some flower boxes or dead flower boxes right there too with that dead coral. It's going to look so cool. So let's cover up this whole area here with slabs. All right. And there you go. So everything is slabbed up and we have ourselves a nice little flooring here out of dark oak. And it's going to look like this all the way around for now. Now, next up, let's start doing cross beams. We're going to do all our cross beams right at the top level here. So right at the number, well, six right here, all the way around. And just cross beam every single one of these real quick. All right, there you go. So it's all looking really nice. We got the cross beam set up and everything's ready to go. Now, next thing we're going to do, let's grab our spruce stairs. I'm going to start working on windows. So let's go right here. I'm going to put a spruce stair facing down here, one facing down right here, two upside downs on each corner. And then here, for now, I'm just going to use just planks and surround all these just like so. So we're going to go with this window pattern. Now, some of these, to give it a little bit of texture, we can come in and give it a little bit of the strip just to break it up a little bit. So let's repeat this one over here on this side. So let's do it together. So two stairs going down, two going up, 
surround these in full blocks and we can replace some of them if you like with a little bit of the strip so it can look just like so. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to repeat this on this side and then we're going to repeat it on these two corner bits and we'll work on the center one together. All right, there you go. So everything is mirrored, looking really cool. So we got this nice window set up. Now for this one, if you wanted to close it off and add at the greenhouse, just do what we did on this side right here. Just repeat that on the other side and you're good to go. But leave this for now because we'll do uh, what we planned here with the greenhouse. So just leave this open for now. Now, for this front part, I have something a little different. This is what we did. We actually recessed this in by one. So let's come in here just with um, just regular old spruce and uh, we'll texture it after. But right here, we're going to go one, two, three, and four. We're going to go in one block. One, two, three, and four. Over here again, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Then let's put a upside down stair right on the third one. So one, two, three, and then cover this up right about there. So it's looking like this. So let's texture it a little bit by coming in here and give it a little bit of the uh, the strip spruce, just like that, just to break it up a little bit. And that should look uh, something like that. But you can go randomize. It doesn't have to be exactly where I'm placing it. Now, next up, I'm going to put a stair, a uh, spruce one facing down here and a spruce right here on this side. So another upside down and one facing down. We got some trap doors on each side like so then right here i got upside down stairs on each side just like that then here on this corner i'm going to put a stair facing down and another one here facing down and then we're going to grab our trap door and put that right there in the center giving you this cool little arched effect and i love the way that came out and that's it we have that set up and ready to go now for this back side let me show you how to set this one up so we're going to put stairs facing down and then stairs facing up on this corner just like so we're gonna come back in here and give it our same technique we did here, but on the corners. And then we're also gonna do it on the bottom and on the top, just like that. And then just come back in and just give it a little bit of this strip just to change up that block palette there. And that's looking pretty cool. And then we have this big space for a window right there. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is work on the little greenhouse extension. So let's go on in. So right next to this beam, we're gonna go in by one. And right here, we're gonna go up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like so. Give it a space of one, two, and three. We're gonna go up by six as well here. Space of one, two, and three, and then up by six right here. Now let's repeat that over here on this side. So right next to this beam, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Space of three, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And another space of three, another up by six, just like so. All right, now that we're here, let's work on this roof part here. So let's put a log sideways, log on top, sideways, one on top, Sideways is a placeholder, one on top, and let's go all the way back down, just like so. Then let's repeat that. So one sideways, one up, sideways, and then one up, just like so. Now let's repeat that on this one here. So sideways, up, and go with a step pattern till we get to the center. And then same again till we get up and into the center. And then one more time, so sideways and up till we get to the middle, and right back down, just like so. All right, now for the next bit, we're going to come here with some slabs again. And right on this level, we're going to go one, two, three, and cover up these here, these two and these two, and then repeat that on this side. So we get a nice little elevated portion of this thing here. Now, next thing we're going to do, uh, let's actually work on this detail here. We're going to put logs right up against every beam going all the way around. And let's go ahead and surround this before we work on the window and uh, the glass portion of the greenhouse here. Let's go ahead and take this all the way around just like so and put a beam of our strip dark oak going all the way around and it's going to look pretty cool because now we're going to work on some more detail so now that we have that let's grab some stairs and we're going to start facing them down inwards towards this let's put one here and go always inwards towards these beams like so this is going to go towards that one then this one's going to go towards this and we're going to go all the way around with our uh, this our spruce stairs going down on top of every beam we just placed so it should look like this all the way around. All right, now I'm grabbing white glass. You can use any glass, but I like the white, especially in the little wintry biome theme. It looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go up by four right here until we get at least one block gap space right there. And we're gonna take this all the way up by four, like that. Now, we're gonna go in on every one of these placeholders we had placed in. We're gonna go ahead and put that glass going all the way up, just like so, and then repeat it on this side. So it's gonna look just like so from this end. Then let's go back on this side and repeat it. So we're going up one, two, three, four, and then up in a little step pattern right there, and then repeat on this side. 
Also, on this side, we can just fill this in. So go all the way up to the top, and this is gonna be a four on this side and a five on this side. So just cover all that up right there. Then next up, let's work a little bit of a roof out here. And right here on this line, on the fourth line where that glass is, we're gonna bring some dark oak stairs and take it out all the way and then overhang it by one, just like so. Then I'm gonna put an upside down stair here, stair forward, upside down here, forward, and just keep repeating this until we get up to the top right here. And then we're gonna put a stair facing this direction. So it should look like that. And then we're gonna repeat it. So stair sideways right there, upside down, stair down, upside down. And we're just gonna go all the way until we get back to the same side and just go ahead and take it from one end to the other, repeating what we did in the front. And then next up, every single one of these logs, we're gonna put a spruce slab just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and just run it all the way down till it looks like so. So there you go, our greenhouse roof is looking good. Now, next little bit, I actually wanna pop this one out and take the log out by two, just like so. And another little bit of detail is right here, I'm gonna put some trap doors going down and kind of around like so, giving you a nice little trim of that Hershey bar trap door, that looks cool. All right, now we're gonna move up to the front. So I'm gonna move these logs up one more time here. So a total of three from the ground. Then here we're gonna go with some of our fences here, spruce and a uh, fence gate in the center. Two fences here and then repeat it on this side. So fence in every corner, fill this out and a gate in the middle just to look a little different. Then right here on the top, we're gonna put some fences and we're gonna put that right on top just like so. So now let's work on this roof. So let's start right here. We're gonna overhang this with a slab and take it out one more right here over that little bit. And then we're gonna take this slab going all the way down and then overhang it on this one, one extra out like that. Then I'm gonna go with a double slab, a single one and a stair on top. And then we're gonna come back down and take this all the way from one side to the next, just like so. Here, remember, we're doubling that up, putting one more on the side and a stair on top and then keep it going all the way down with the stair and it should connect just like so. We're also gonna modify this a little bit later on, but I'll show you why and when later. <laughs> but for right now, one more thing we're gonna do, let's put a pop-out log right here on that side, just to give you the cool little transition, and then another one here on this end. So, next thing we're gonna do, let's work on this little outside bit. And I'm gonna go with some full blocks. Let's go with a full block right here of dark oak, a stair on top. I'm gonna put an upside down stair facing inward. And then here we're just gonna go up with stairs upside downs and stairs going up until we get to the center bit, which should be right here. On this center bit though, this is what we're gonna do. Let's actually put a little placeholder block, put that log in, pop it back the other way, and we have ourselves a cool little overhang. And then here, we're gonna go with just a regular stair facing inwards. So it should look like this. So let's repeat this on this side. So really quickly, we're gonna put our pop out, which is just like that, the same level. We're gonna grab our stair, and we're gonna go ahead and go in this way, just like so. Full block on top stair on top of that and then our all our upside down stairs are going to be towards the inside of that block so just like that so we get back down this way and then a stair facing down and it should look like this on this side then next thing let's put some upside down stairs every other one and then we're going with slabs in between we should have this cool look right there then another thing we're going to do is let's take this right here the stair and we're going to go ahead and run it all the way down until we get back to this side and guess what? We're gonna repeat this style on this end, but it's gonna look a little bit different just because we have this little connection, but it'll it'll match up nicely anyway. So let's work on it right here. So we're gonna go again, full block, stair on top, stair inwards, stair on top, and then inwards, and then keep going, just like so. And we have just enough space to clear it, so nothing is really in the way. Put a placeholder block here, pop that log, remove that, put it back in, and then with our stair right there. So it's looking pretty cool, right? Now let's repeat it one more. So right here, pop out log, full block, stair, and then come back in. And let's repeat the same stair pattern to end off this roof, right? Oh, no, hold on, there we go, perfect. Right there, <laughs> so it should look like this from this end, matching what we did on the other side. All right, now let's fill in this part of the roof right here. So one thing we're gonna do is what we did in the front, uh, we're gonna put some of these uh, lovely old trap doors facing down right underneath those upside down stairs to get this cool little trim. Now from this side, we're gonna use regular old spruce. So I'm gonna, just gonna go up here, one and two, one, two, and three, one, two, ooh, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, and one, and two. It's gonna look like this right here on this side. So let's repeat that over here. So we're gonna go up one and two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and one, and two. Just like that, matching this side. Then we're gonna grab these logs and we're gonna go up by two, 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 one, two, three. So right here, two, two, one, and two. So it's gonna look like this from this side. Now, same thing over here. We're gonna go up by two, two, two here, one, two, three, and then back two, two, and one, and two. So it should look like this from this side and this from this side. All right, now that we have this set up, I'm gonna teach you how to do this roof style two different ways. We're gonna do it all out of snow at the beginning, and then later on, I'm gonna show you how to add that uh, little pop-out areas of the window in the front and window in the back and then that chimney. But first off, let me teach you how to make a really cool roof style uh, that you can modify. So you can have this style I'm gonna do or you can do it just like that. So let me teach you this real quick. We're gonna grab just snow blocks and we're gonna go up by two on every single one of these right here on this log level right there. So up by two. And then we're gonna take it up by one every other one just like so so pretty much just at the uh, one block under level from these little pop out logs you see right here so we're just going to take it all the way down like this in a simple step pattern just like that and then cap it off right here on the tippy top just like so so then we're going to repeat this over here so same thing we're going to go up by two on this level and then up by one every other level like this all right, so it looked like this for now. So let me teach you this cool little trick that I love to do. Now we're gonna grab snow layers and we're gonna take the layers up uh, gradually all the way to the top and then work it back down going this way. So this one from the top of this one, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, don't go up one more. If you go up one more, it'll be too level. So you don't want it level. So we're gonna go up by seven on this corner, right? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right here. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, and one. That should be perfectly centered. If you go over here, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two. And it ends up with a one. So we're gonna do this same little curve all the way around. So it's gonna work the same way. So we're gonna go up one level before the end and then take it one step down every single time. So let's do this real fast all the way around. All right, there you go. So it should look like this from front to back. And if you look from the top, from the side, it looks pretty cool. It gives you this cool little sloping effect, which is really, really awesome. Now, before we continue, one quick thing we wanna do is let's texture this part up a little bit. So we're gonna come in here with a little bit of our strip. I'm gonna knock this down right here in the middle and we're gonna have a small little window right there on the side. So I'll leave that there for now. But uh, if you wanna keep the roof just like this, you're good, you're done, you're finished, you're ready to go. But uh, let me show you how to add that little extension bit, which makes everything look really, really cool. All right, now let's work on this little middle window. So for this one, we need five blocks of space from the center, this is the center line, and we're taking five blocks total, get rid of that snow. Then we're lifting this log up, one, two, three, and four. Three block gap space, up by four here as well. Then right here, we're gonna put an upside down stair and another upside down stair of dark oak on each side. We're gonna put some stairs facing downwards, inwards like this, another one inwards, just like so. Some upside down stairs on each side. Then we're gonna go with a full block, a full block and a stair here, a stair here. Then upside down stairs on each side, stairs facing inwards and stair facing inward. Then we're gonna put a log right here, placeholder, pop it out, come back in, take it all the way inside like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some trap doors underneath these. So trap door here, trap door underneath, another one here, and going all the way around just like so. Then next up, let's grab a stair, put one up top right here, and then we're gonna do some placeholder. So a placeholder here, block on top, bring that log all the way down, put one on top, placeholder, and then one on top. So it's gonna look like so. Then again, same uh, concept over here. We're gonna grab our slabs and go all the way around and it's gonna look like this. Now in the center bits, let's just go ahead and just fill all this in with spruce all the way around, just like so, leaving a too high window. And in some of these, we can go ahead and just replace that with our lovely old strip, just like that. 
Now once we have that set up, we're going to come with our four blocks of snow right here on this level. We're going to cover up this log here, this one here, take it all the way down, connecting to this bit, and then one over here, just like so. And then we can play around with the layers, so I can go up maybe just to mess with this a little bit. Since it's just a one right here, we can go up one and two, and one, two, three here, just to give it a nice little subtle way up. And then here we can just take it one more up, which should be a three. Here we can go up just one extra so it can have that little elevation going into it. And over here we're fine. So let's repeat that over here on this side. So we're looking good. Let's just take this up one level extra from there. And then here we could just take this up three. So it's one level higher from here. So it's looking good, just like so. Then let's go ahead and repeat this on the other side. All right, now let's work on this little chimney fireplace action. We're gonna go right in the center. So this should be center bit. Let's take this out right here. So we have this gap right in the middle, just like so. Then let's start lifting up right in this edge. We're gonna come in, just let's do stone bricks for now. We'll texture after, but right here, we're gonna go up one and two. Take that little bit and that little bit out. Let's go out one and two right here as well. Take that bit out one and two and take this little bit out and go one and two. So here we're gonna go with upside down stairs on every corner bit, upside down stairs here, then walls on those corners and then slabs on the top and surround it all, leaving an opening right there. And I went ahead and put a campfire block right on. Let's actually take it in. Right about there would be a good spot, I think. But you can go higher too if you want to see the flame. And then after that, just come back in. in just random spots and give it a little bit of just random texturing. Just like so. There it is. So it should look just like that. Now, last but not least, let's just add a little bit of glass and some windows and doors to this building. All right, all the glass is in. Now, let's give it a little bit more detail. So one thing that I really wanted to do is right here. Let's actually get rid of these blocks right here. I'm going to put some pods on. You can put grass or, of course, uh, dirt would be fine. I'm going to turn this stair, and I'm going to turn this stair, and then I'm going to put some trap doors like this. And then on the top, I'm going to give it a mix of uh, sweet berries and some dead coral fans and some regular coral. So it kind of looks like all of these were sweet berries at one time and some of these kind of died out or froze because of how the weather is, which is really, really cool. A nice little detail bit. Here we're gonna drop uh, a lovely grindstone. We're gonna put a light underneath that little lantern and on the top we're gonna put a spruce button. So that is looking so good. Then next up, I'm gonna go ahead and detail by adding all of these uh, I'm, I'm putting the uh, pods up, but you can use uh, coarse dirt again or grass. And then I'm going to cover these up right here. So we're going to have pretty much flower boxes mixed in with dead coral, the fan, and the um, and the sweet berries all the way around in every single one of these gaps. So we're going to do this, go all the way around. We're going to do them on all the little gaps in between from log to log down here. And you can either use this trap door or you can use the uh, spruce one. It should be fine. Uh, up here, I'm uh, not could put one but we don't really need it uh if you like it would pretty much just be right here and then you know what if anything you could do trap doors of spruce here and then the trap doors of our dark oak there and that should be good put another glass right there and then keep up with the theme uh that we're adding these lovelies around and it should look pretty cool so back here i also want to do the same thing so let's get rid of these here i'm gonna put our pods all. let's actually twist these oh i messed that up hold on Let's put that back. Uh, let's put this sideways. Let's put this sideways. Let's cover these up right here. And let's add our trapdoors underneath so you'll see that bit. And let's go ahead and keep that theme up. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this around all the way around on the bottom. All right, and there it is. The exterior is all set up. Look at that. It's looking really cool. We got all these uh, little flower patches on the bottom. You can also pack it with snow if you want. You can even put snow up here if you want by adding different layers and stuff like that. It's all up to you guys. I kind of like seeing it open like that, but you could put snow layers also on top of the glass, and it looks really, really nice. Now, let's go on the inside. Let me show you how to set this up. So really quickly, first thing you want to do is just clear some stuff out here so we get a nice little bit of cleared area here for our window. So that looks nice. This comes down like that. Now up here, I'm gonna glue a little bit of a cross beam on one side and a cross beam going on the other side, just like that to give you a little bit of more detail. Uh, and then over here, uh, let's set some stuff up here. So first, this side. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift up this log here in this corner, lift up this log here in this corner. Then I'm gonna come over here and just cover this side up and if you like, you can also do a little bit of texturing just like that. Then over here, let's grab some stairs. We're on the way down here, right? So we're gonna put some stairs right here on this end, just like so. Then I'm gonna cover this up, maybe with a little bit of texturing. Then I'm gonna take a log. I'm gonna take this log all the way down from right here, just like so. 
and then we can either put two slabs or two stairs either way that should be fine and then this part here i got it covered up uh, so we can go ahead and just i'm going to take this all the way up here and then you can mess around and add more details as you go along and you can use this for really anything you can even put storage here in this section as well so you're good to go either way another thing i'm going to do we're going to actually cover all this up all the way around right here in the back just like this uh, let's come over here instead of having these log sideways i rather than facing down like that just personal preference but it looks a little cooler i think and then over here we can have a whole setup uh, for bees and i'll show you how to set that up in a second now another thing you could do is take this up here as well so we're going to take this up to the top take this one up to the top and then we're going to cross right here on this end covering up that side but here we have so many different options you can use a high ceiling if you want you can have room dividers room separations if you want to separate rooms i think right here will be the perfect spot in the center bit and then you can even take it all the way down right here so in this bit and then cross beam right here on this side and then over here as well so we could do even a separation right here on the center bit so let's do the same thing we did over there take it all the way to the top cross beam here and then cross beam on this side so then we have this divider then we could put another division here another beam right here and then another beam right here if you wanted to have a second floor or you could have a high ceiling it really depends on up to you guys and then you could just seal this up either with full blocks anything either dark oak or uh or spruce but so many different options if i would do a second floor this will be my division right here and then you can even set up maybe even a spiral staircase on the top here or a ladder if uh, you guys want to get up and save space so it's really up to you guys if you do any kind of room divisions uh then uh let's say you divide this room you can do the same thing cover that up and remember do your texturing if you did it on the outside do it on the inside so it matches nicely and then you can keep this up on this side and have your little room dividers like that so, you know what? Let me show you next door and let me give you some inspiration of what you could do. All right, let me show you the inside here and see if you guys can get some inspiration. And this is how I set this up. So, again, we got the room dividers, one on each side. Uh, this one right here, we got a little bit of a shelving unit. Uh, we have a little seating area here if you want to have some breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever, just sit out, hang out. A uh, little potted plant on top of a composter, another one here with a nice little table. Over here is our kitchen area. We got some barrels, some uh, lovely old uh, little bit of potatoes there with some farmland. Uh, and then we got some shelves here with our barrels, a little cake, and a little bit of a cooking station here. Then on this side, a little bit of uh, just a storage unit here, and then a little grandfather clock action right there. Uh, and then on this side, if you notice, over here we have some books, so to cover that up, I put some bushes and a couple more composters here. If you notice, the floor is a little broken with some stairs on the inside, with some carpets around the side there too. And then here, look at our our our, uh, our beehive, bee nest, uh, greenhouse right here. Make sure you close the door so you don't get the bees inside. But look at this cool design, I kind of like this. So we got campfires underneath right there and then campfires in between each of these so then you can stack them up and then also hide the campfires with these trap doors and if you need to extinguish it you could just uh right click with a shovel or put some water on that and we got bees all the way around some lights on the top so it kind of looks like bee totem poles and it's a really cool design i really do like that we got flowers on the side here as well and i did use this as well for, for our advantage since we did have it recessed in uh, i put some barrels for storage here on the side and you can take the barrels all the way up you don't necessarily have to have that stair there but i kind of like the way it looks so i'm just gonna, just gonna keep it right there uh and then it kind of matches what we did here so it looks pretty cool i love that now for the second floor oh look at these uh little sh uh blinds look how cool uh but then over here i kind of closed this in so i put the door on the side and i made a spiral staircase now this staircase goes all the way around got a little book corner here armor stand just a little small spot here and then as you come in right here what's this we got a sub little heating unit right here. It's not for cooking, it's just to heat up the room on the top so it gets colder. I uh, got some trap doors here on the top, but then I got our bed here on this side, uh, and I have a little corner over here, a little writing desk on this side as well, which has a really cool design for that chair. I like that. Uh, but I like the way this looks. This looks really cool, really, it's really cold up here, so that's why we have this little heater that goes up to the top. But what do you guys think? <laughs> I love the way this one came out. I got so many other ideas for winter style builds, but that was it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys did enjoy. This was so much fun to make let me know what you want to see next in an upcoming video i got so many more ideas for winter themed builds but i would love to hear what you guys have to say but i'm very very happy how this one came out let me know what you think but i'm out thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye
Oh, 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 oh,